Hi, Kerry here from My Cloud Bookkeeping. Have you had the situation where a customer has been duplicated in QuickBooks Online? Perhaps one salesperson entered them in with, I don't know, the company name and someone else entered them in with, with their given name and the, the two have been mixed up and you've got some transactions under one name and, and some under another. So you can't simply delete the incorrect one. So what you need to be able to do is merge those customers within your QuickBooks Online file. And I'm going to show you how to do that today. So here we are in the sample company of QuickBooks Online and we'll pop across to the side here to sales and choose customers. Now I happen to know that for some reason my client Smith Automotive has been duplicated. So let's have a quick look and see what happened. So here we have Jimmy Smith at Smith Automotive and Smith Automotive. Now Smith Automotive here, if we have a look at the information, is James Smith, which is probably his correct name. But if we pop down here and we have a look at the other Smith Automotive, it says Jimmy Smith. So perhaps James Smith goes by Jimmy, maybe one of the salespeople accidentally added him again. Let's have a quick look here. So we have Jimmy Smith, Smith Automotive. Now I can see that I have two transactions here for Jimmy and I have one transaction here for James. Now you've probably noticed when you have an invoice, uh, clients can look at it, your things that have already been sent out. You don't really wanna start deleting things and re-entering them, you can make a huge mess. So this is where the option to merge the customers comes in. Now I'm gonna stick with Smith Automotive here because this is the one I want to keep because his name is James. So I'm going to pop up here to Jimmy Smith. I'm gonna say edit and I'm going to change this so that the name becomes Smith Automotive. And when I click save, it asks me if I would like to merge them. The name's already in use, do I wanna merge them? And I say yes. Now let's have a look and see what happens when we search for Smith. Jimmy Smith now shows up as deleted and has zero transactions in here. And Smith Automotive has the three transactions showing up. So now let's have a new look at the customer list. Uh, let's see what shows up when I type Smith. We only get the one option now. And then this will be the customer that I will use if I have any new transactions to enter. Isn't that a wonderfully quick and easy solution? If there's anything else you'd like to know about, make a note below and my next video could be for you. Also scroll down, I have a month end checklist that you can click to download and that'll help you hopefully manage your business on an ongoing basis. Click like, subscribe to my channel. I hope to hear from you soon. Cheers.